in Wraith, we don't actually transition from techno thrillers, the, the sort of novels we're known for, and we've written quite a few of, uh, to supernatural. Because what we've done is uh, in, we've, we've brought the supernatural into the world of the techno thriller. We find things that you might consider to be supernatural actually obey the laws of physics just like everything else. And there is a reason for their, for their existence, and they can be replicated. What we've tried to do is, what we sat back and we said, if everything in the lore of ghosts is true, a disembodied consciousness that exists after physical death. A some, restless spirit that has a mission that must be accomplished. Something that doesn't know it's dead. If, let's say, all that is true, what are the laws of physics that would uh, constrain it? How does uh, disembodied consciousness maintain a form? Uh, why do ghosts have clothes? Do they appear mostly at night because there's something to do with the solar radiation that would keep them from appearing during the daytime? We like to find the reasons and the rules so it's not just because. And then our characters have to discover those rules to see if they can stop the evil plan that's been set in motion.